Welcome to Automotive Insight. Today's repair is a 2016 Audi A6 with a 3 liter turbo diesel. Customer states check engine light. The code is a P242B00. That's the exhaust gas temperature sensor uh, number three, bank one. This will probably be the hardest repair I've done on an Audi today. Let's check it out. So these are the codes that are in the ECM. The, the only code that's active is the 242B00. I am not an Audi guide to know what's very common, um, what, what, are, what are common failures on this vehicle. So we're just going to go after what's causing the check engine light, and that's the first code. So let's check out the freeze frame data. So this is freeze frame data. Sensor number three is re reading 166 degrees at the time of failure. Everything else was around 78, 79 degrees. So something was going on with sensor number three. Um, it's hard to say what because it's actually working normal at this time. So let's look at the light. <clears throat> so this is the live data. I do have the coolant temperature sensor in there, it's 68 degrees. I did have the engine running for about a minute to move it into the bay. Um, sensor number four is the furthest away from the exhaust so that's why it, it takes that one takes longer to heat up anyway but number three and number four are really close together and they're registering the same thing so um it's really hard to say if the um, sensor is going to fix it but that's what we're going to do remove the engine cover so this is sensor number one sensor number two is down on the bottom this is this is sensor three and sensor four is down there so this is the sensor that we're going to replace we'll disconnect the sensor we'll cut the zip tie So the sensor is a 17 millimeter. I went ahead and sprayed WD-40 on it. Um, Dorman does have like an OE fix option for these that has um, like a thread repair, uh, like insert, uh, a thread repair insert, uh, like a, a sleeve. Cowbell, baby. There she blows. I got a new sensor. Put some anti season on it. Got our new zip tie here. You believe they charged me 50 bucks for that thing? That Audi? Got our engine cover back on. So we got our new sensor in. You see it's registering like the other one is. So um, only time will tell if this is actually fixed, but everything's looking good. We'll button this one up. All right, well that wraps this up. There wasn't any really diagnosing this uh, because the problem is intermittent. Maybe if some of you Audi guys out there or Audi techs know better, you know, tell us what you think in the comments. Set. I'm, Tell us what you think in the comment section down below. Is it a common repair to replace all the sensors or just the ones that fail at that time? So, so we played it safe. We replaced, uh, I replaced number four off camera uh, just because it did have the uh, pending code in there. But, um, but number three was the main issue. The sensors are pretty reasonably priced uh, between 50 to, uh, they're priced between 65 and about 120 bucks a piece. Anyway, uh, time will tell whether or not this is fixed, but uh, hopefully we earned a thumbs up from you. I may not have all your answers. Hopefully I had one. We'll see you on the next one.